Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified in all the worlds. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. He forgives all our sins and heals our infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things, and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his way known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his great mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we were made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower in the field. And when the wind goes over it, it is gone. Its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children. And those who keep his covenant and remember his commandment and do them the Lord has set his throne in heaven, and his kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding, and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you hosts, you ministers of his who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. A reading from Zechariah. And on that day, I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. 
and I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. On that day, the mourning in Jerusalem will be as great as the mourning for Hadad Rimun in the plain of Megiddo. On that day, a fountain shall be opened for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and impurity. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who is my associate, says the Lord of hosts. Strike the shepherd, that the sheep may be scattered. I will turn my hand against the little ones. In the whole land, says the Lord, two-thirds shall be cut off and perish, and one-third shall be left alive. And I will put this third into the fire, refine them as one refines silver, and test them as gold is tested. They will call upon my name, and I will answer them. I will say, they are my people, and they will say, the Lord is our God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Timothy. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and for which you were made. The good confession in the presence of many witnesses. In the presence of God who gives life to all things, and of Jesus Christ, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession. I charge you to keep the commandment without spot or blame until the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he will bring about at the right time. He who is blessed and only sovereign, King of King and Lord of Lords. It is he alone who has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light, who no one has ever seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. Lord, you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. As he came near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, if you, even you, had recognized on this day the things that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. Indeed, the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up ramparts around you and surround you and hem you in on every side. They will crush you to the ground and your children within you 
and they will not leave within you one stone upon another, because you did not recognize the time of your visitation from God. Then he entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling things there, and he said, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Every day he was teaching in the temple. The chief priests, the scribes, the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. But they did not find anything they could do, for all the people were spellbound by what they heard. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Paul and all your saints entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Let us pray. O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you that the week to come may be spent in your favor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for those who are ill and for all of those who minister to the needs of those who are sick. Heavenly Father, giver of life and health, comfort and relieve your sick servants, and give your power of healing to those who minister to their needs, that those for whom our prayers are offered may be strengthened in their weakness and have confidence in your loving care. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We'll continue with the great litany from Enriching Our Worship. Holy God, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy on us. Holy and mighty redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. Holy immortal one, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy on us. Holy, blessed, and glorious trinity, one God, have mercy on us. From all evil and mischief, from pride, vanity, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all evil intent. Savior, deliver us. From sloth, worldliness, and love of money, from hardness of heart and contempt for your word and your laws. Savior, deliver us. From sins of body and mind, from deceit of the world, flesh, and the devil. Savior, deliver us. From famine and disaster, from violence, murder, and dying unprepared. Savior, deliver us. In all time of sorrow, in all times of joy, 
in the hour of our death, and at the day of judgment. Savior, deliver us. By the mysteries of your holy incarnation, by your birth, childhood, and obedience, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation. Savior, deliver us. By your ministry in word and work, by your mighty acts of power, by the preaching of your reign. Savior, deliver us. By your agony and trial, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial. Savior, deliver us. By your mighty resurrection, by your glorious ascension, and by your ascending of the Holy Spirit. Savior, deliver us. Hear our prayers, O Christ our God. Hear us, O Christ. Govern and direct your holy church. Fill it with love and truth, and grant it that unity which is your will. Hear us, O Christ. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all nations. Hear us, O Christ. Enlighten your bishops, priests, and deacons, especially Michael, Stephen, TJ, and Greg, with knowledge and understanding that by their teaching and their lives they may proclaim your word. Hear us, O Christ. Give your people grace to witness you to your word and bring forth the fruit of your spirit. Hear us, O Christ. Bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived. Hear us, O Christ. Strengthen those who stand, comfort and help the faint-hearted, raise up the fallen, and finally beat down Satan under our feet. Hear us, O Christ. Guide the leaders of the nations into the ways of peace and justice. Hear us, O Christ. Give your wisdom and strength to Donald, the President of the United States, to Tony, the Governor of this state, that in all things they may do your will for your glory and the common good. Hear us, O Christ. Give to the Congress of the, of the United States, the members of the President's Cabinet, those who serve in our state legislature, and all others in authority, the grace to walk always in the ways of truth. Hear us, O Christ. Bless the justices of the Supreme Court and all those who administer the law, that they may act with integrity and do justice for all your people. Hear us, O Christ. Give us the will to use the resources of the earth to your glory and for the good of all. Hear us, O Christ. Bless and keep all your people. Hear us, O Christ. Comfort and liberate the lonely, the bereaved, and the oppressed. Hear us, O Christ. Keep in safety those who travel and all who are in peril. Hear us, O Christ. Heal the sick in body, mind, or spirit, and provide for the homeless, the hungry, and the destitute. Hear us, O Christ. Guard and protect all children who are in danger. Hear us, O Christ. Shower your compassion on prisoners, hostages, and refugees, and all who are in trouble. Hear us, O Christ. Forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and turn their hearts. Hear us, O Christ. Hear us as we remember those who have died, and grant us with them a share in your eternal glory. Hear us, O Christ. Give us true repentance. Forgive us our sins of negligence and ignorance and our deliber deliberate sins, and grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to your word. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have Amen. mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have Amen. mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy Immortal One, have, have mercy. mercy on us.
Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.